again my devilish deviants welcome back to yet another ghoulish grotesquerie i'm sarah woodruff your mistress of the macabre and lantern carrier through this next hollowed haunted tale when our time here is done and we pass from this mortal plane does a part of us live on in the objects most important to us is it possible that a treasured item from our life could possess a part of our souls it could be a family heirloom a piece of jewelry or a trinket that you never go a day without wearing an item of importance that helped channel your innermost passion and creativity. If our souls could cling to an object left behind, how would that manifest? In this next tale of the macabre, we meet Taff, a guitar player who's just arrived from out of town to find that his instrument has gone missing mid-flight, misplaced by an untrustworthy airline. With a gig looming, Taff needs a new instrument for what is a guitar player without a guitar? Desperate, he searches the listings of an online marketplace and stumbles upon a listing that's seemingly too good to be true. A listing that will lead Taff down a dark and tortured path. Checking out this guitar that you're selling online. Is this still available? The guitar. Oh, what guitar? Oh, I mean, yeah, the guitar. Uh, can you can you get it right now? Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, uh, can you text me your address? Uh, yeah, cash only. None of the digital crap. Okay. Oh yeah, totally. Totally, you got it. Uh, it's listed online at a hundred dollars. Is that correct? Do you want it or not? I just wanted to make sure that price was accurate. Um, seems like it'd be worth more, but sure. Uh, yeah, I'll come get it. Come right now. Um, yeah, how about maybe we should meet at a coffee shop or something? Cash for the guitar, I'll send you the address. Uh, okay, are you sure? i buy you a cup.
Okay, yeah, um, I'm here to pick up the guitar. I'm, I'm at the front door. Uh, hey, don't you want the money? Hey, who the hell are you? What am I, going crazy? What am I trying to find? A return to a found sticker?
who you are and what you did. Who is this? You, you stole my guitar and left, left me for dead. dead. No, 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 that's impossible. I gave the other guy the guitar. You go bother him now. You can't haunt me any longer. I won't have it. You stole my guitar and left me for dead. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. I'm going to send you an address. You're going to come here within the hour. And why would I do that? Because if you don't, I'll call the police and tell them about everything you've done. I've seen your house. I know I'm not the first person you've mugged and murdered. I'm sure the police wouldn't mind an anonymous tip. That's right. I've killed a few people. What makes you think I won't kill you again? I'll take that chance. You have one hour. I'll leave the door open. So what? What are you gonna do now? You? What are you doing in my house, man? What are you talking about? You told me to come here! No, I didn't. Uh, what? I didn't. Sorry for earlier. Keep the guitar. I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. I'll take the trash out. I guess that deal was actually too good to be true. All Taff wanted was a guitar, not to be pulled into a paranormal grudge match. Although, he did at least escape mostly unscathed. Let's hope there aren't any future ramifications. And let that be a lesson to you, dear viewer. The next time you buy something off a rando online, stop and consider the item's history. Trust your instincts and be careful. If something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Sure, you might be getting a good deal, but you could also be getting a piece of a person's soul free with purchase. Until next time, sweet screams. <laughs>